What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stash Free Sports channel. I'm your host, Jarrell Hicks. Let's get right into it. Khabib versus Justin Gaethje recap, review, whatever you want to call it. Let's go, man. Uh, so first off, Khabib wins. I'll get into the matchup and what happened a little later on in the, in the fight. But Khabib retires after this fight, ending his career 29-0. and 0. Um, He said he spoke with his mother after his father passed for three days. And he gave his word. This will be his last fight, and he's sticking to it. Got to respect that. But he said he has one wish, and that one wish is he needs to be ranked number one on the pound for pound, pound, for pound fight of all time list. That's a, that's an easy demand, brother. <laughs> that's an easy demand, brother. Look, you got it. After seeing this fight, he was already number one, number two, 1A, 1B. It's clear cut after this fight, man, with Justin Gaethje. Um, Khabib is the best of all time. Hands down, no debate. Only because, but not only because, but because he's unstoppable. I've never seen in my years of fighting, and I've been a fan for a long time. I'm a diehard fan the last couple years, but I've been a, a avid uh, avid fan and sometimes an in-and-out fan for the last, I'm 25, probably the last 12 years. But Khabib is the most, and I went back and done my research and my history a little bit. I'm not saying I'm a... I'm the smartest, or, you know, I know everything about UFC, whatever, all the fights in the history, but Khabib is the most dominant fighter I've ever seen, point blank, period, and this tonight, or well, today proved it, standing up with Justin Gaethje and winning versus Justin Gaethje standing up was clear cut, like, bruh, he's taking his hits, no problem, he's standing up, stri- out striking Justin Gaethje, who was probably... Outside of Connor, I'll, I'll slow it down. But he's a great, he's a great stand-up artist. He's a great boxer in Justin Gaethje. I won't say, you know, Connor, him, Connor, Poirier, Ferguson, they're all in the same class to me as great stand-up artists in that division. But Justin Gaethje was is like I said, one of the best. Um, and he's Khabib took his licks, took his leg kicks, outstruck him. Um, and my thing about it, about this whole entire fight. Oh, let me get to the fight. Uh, um, fight fight breakdown real quick, and I'll talk a little, little bit more about Khabib. First round, Khabib stands up for all the first round. It's, he had two takedown attempts. One uh, early, probably in the first two minutes, missed. Uh, Gaethje fought it off, and in the last maybe fifty seconds, forty seconds, he got it, took him down, but didn't do too much damage. But from this first round, him standing up the entire time, magnificent. Took his, took Gaethje hits, applied a crazy amount of pressure. I knew from that, from the point Justin Gaethje smiled, probably, probably around the 145 mark, somewhere in that range of that fight, I knew it was over. Gaethje was like, bruh, <laughs> he's a dog. He's a dog. And I knew he was a dog. He, everybody knew he was a dog. But it's different. When you went there, it's different, man. And, um. Yeah, it's crazy. Second round come out. Um, my thing was, if Gage is gonna win, he gotta do it now. Cause if get in later rounds, he looked tired after the first that the second takedown attempt later in the first round. He looked he looked tired. So I'm like, bro, if Gage if uh Khabib get you down again in the second round, it's over. And he got him down immediately, and he <laughs> got top mount immediately, and immediately put him in the triangle choke. And it was over. He tapped four times. The ref somehow missed it all three times, four times until he passed out, Gaethje passed out, which is, you know, another topic for another day. But Khabib was dominant. He's dominant, man. And um, I've never seen a fighter so dominant like this. Silva. Anderson Silva could have lost to Chell Sonnen if Chell Sonnen didn't lose it towards the end of the first fight. He had Silva. In my opinion, it was neck and neck. And he blew it towards the end. Silva had another couple, a, a few other um, couple fights where Silva could have lost. He ended up did losing to Chris Weidman, uh, but that was a broken leg thing. I saw that fight live; that was crazy. But other than that, though, Silva had stretches where you know he could have lost. It was it was it was neck and neck for a little bit, but Silva came out victorious. Khabib was never close. It was never close. John Jones, who I used to deem. Before today, or before this moment now, doing this video as the best of all time, uh, that's not an option anymore. 
because uh, it's debatable whether John Jones won his last two or three fights, you know, against Santos and against um, on, on Reyes. So, yeah, it, it's no it's no question, it's no debate. Um, could be the best of all time. He's retired, and you know, if you know him or you know uh, what he believes in, he's a man of his word, and he said he's sticking to it. So it'll be no GSP and Khabib. Uh, it'll be no Usman or Khabib. It'll be no Connor could Khabib to no nothing else. It's over. And he is going down, guaranteed. No debate. I, I don't think... See, this is finite. There's no debate. Khabib will be the best of all time forever. You cannot be this dominant and lose that number one spot. You can't. 29 and 0... Uh, what, 12 or 13 fights in the UFC, all were dominant. All were pure dominance. And tonight showed his stand-up game more. He came out and made an emphasis. I'm standing up for most of the fight, uh, first round. And he did that, and he outstruck and outstood up Justin Gaethje. And marvelous career, marvelous fight career, man. Um, you know, sad he's gone, because I would love to see, like I said, I've been campaigning for him and GSP, him and Usman, maybe him and Colby Covington for a while now. I've been forget Connor. No, I want I want him and Usman, him and Colby. I want that pressure. Pressure versus pressure. Ground game versus ground game. I wanna see who's better. Usman and Khabib, Kobe could be, GSP could be, but that's done. Not mad at it. I'm happy for him. Um I'm kinda surprised. But, you know, from what his belief system is, and he's heavy in it, you know, he's sticking with it, and I'm, and I'm, I'm happy for him. So that's it for the video, guys. Stamp him. <laughs> Go ahead and stamp him. Khabib's the best of all time. He's out of here. I'm out of here, too, guys. See you guys next time.